guys, so this is day two. I ended up recording a very, very, very long and rather um, uninformative speech when I realized the microphone was out. So that was probably for you guys. You know, God did that so you guys don't have to keep hearing me. So you guys know with the interior, I'm working on getting uh, the steering wheel and um, you know, this is the next day, which means it's a whole new day, which means your boy got a steering wheel. So my, my, my boy Erlon hooked it up with the steering wheel. Um, it's actually his brother's steering wheel, but he gifted it to his brother. So technically, I don't know if it's his brother or his, but anyways, they gave me a steering wheel. So shout out to them. We're gonna be putting their name in the back of the car for hooking it up. This door right here, my Erlon's gonna help me install the window regulator. I'm really shit with those for some reason. You guys saw me install the M Sport bumper on this bad boy. It looks absolutely stunning. I love how the M Sport looks. I went ahead and also got the taillight for this car. We went ahead and got the, the last rim for this car. We went ahead and got the trunk pieces for this car. So you guys know your boy's doing some work. So we're gonna go ahead and install all that to perfect the car as much as we can. And I'm also, unfortunately, getting rid of these rims down there. You guys are gonna be asking why are you getting rid of those rims, Nor? You, did you, didn't you just say you got the fourth rim? Yeah, that's true, I got the fourth rim, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell these rims, mainly because the tires are kinda going out on them, to be honest. I have somebody that says he's gonna be picking it up soon, so hopefully if he shows up, I'll be selling these rims. Um, Cause I'm not trying to buy new tires on these rims. They're kind of like, they're already nicked all the way around the rim. Um, you know, they got curb rash. I'm not really trying to repair these rims. I'm gonna try to get something really crazy. So I'm gonna be rocking my stock rims with the run flats that came with my 330i. They got some pretty good tread on it. Shouldn't give me any problems with headlight and brake also. Cause he has done my 350z. I had to get new tires cause the tires are almost worn out. These ones are pretty much out of life. So I'm not trying to deal with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell all these rims, you know, make some money. Without further ado, let me show you guys what we got. What we got exactly when we went um, to uh, my, when we went on the, the Craigslist adventure. So you guys can see we got wheels on wheels. My friend ended up getting that whole steering wheel with the M trim for free. So that's absolutely crazy. You got the airbag, the steering wheel, everything for free. Um, the airbag is messed up. Like if you could push in it, so that airbag is totally unsafe, but um, you know, we're gonna rock it unplugged for now because he's doing the, the steering wheel conversion. He has that ugly steering wheel and the ugly airbag for like the, you know, the non-sport. So he's gonna do end up doing that full conversion with that steering wheel. The, you know, that, that, for free, you know, you really can't beat that. He went ahead and gave me his steering wheel with the paddles, so that's amazing. This one obviously has no bullet holes in it, so that's gonna be great. I got my uh, my spare tire right there that we're gonna be completing the set with. We also have some random trim pieces that he's gonna be needing for his car. And I believe right over here, we got my, my tail light that I'm gonna be needing to uh, finish up all the lights and, you know, check the codes. But yeah, guys, really, really excited where this build is going. We're gonna be installing also the window regulator, the steering wheel. Let's go ahead and do all that stuff, enough talking. Let's get to work. You guys can see that all this is all damaged up. So we got we got this as well. We got the new trunk piece. So this is gonna be complete. There's stuff shaking in here, so I believe there's a bullet in here. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the tail light as well. So we're gonna be doing all that good stuff right now. Guys, look how messed up that is. I don't even think this board is even reusable. Luckily, I took his board. I think his board is good to go. I'm, I will take this bulb just in case, um, you know, it works. You might as well reuse it um, down the road if any of my other bulbs go out. Alright guys, the trunk is looking great right now. Unfortunately, um, I do see that there's a dent right there which I'm gonna be hammering in and then just fixing that up real easy. And there's a little bit of a dent right there. I don't know if you guys can try to focus it. But the dent right here is kind of like coming up for some reason. There's a dent right here kind of coming up. I don't know if the bullet kind of like hit up the thing and came back down. I can't believe it just hit the camera there. But you guys can see the new tail light looking really good in here. Um, all this is fitting in perfectly. Just I don't know why this is like dangling. I don't know how to put that up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at my 330i and see how that works. Oh, so it looks like it goes in there, then it, you pull it towards you or something. Okay, let's do that real quick. Just gonna go ahead and put that on there. Come on. And then you put, oh, there we go. Cool, good as new. 
Alrighty, let's go ahead and straighten that out, kind of giving me kind of an OCD type of thing. But yeah, so far it's looking good. All this side is good to go. Um, I kind of prepped this worst case if I can't really end up finishing it. The body shop can do it real easy because they don't even have to do anything from the back. Um, this side I will have to do some filling in from the back and uh, try to grind all this off and start working on that. And right after I fix all this stuff, I'm going to have to uh, fix the screw hole on this side because the bumper can't fit on because the bullet went like right through the screw hole. So that kind of sucks. It has The bumper has amazing fitment if you guys can see. And even on the other side, you guys can see the bumper. It has nothing to do with the bumper. The fitment's amazing. It's just um, the, the bullet came out of where that uh, screw hole screws onto. So that's kind of unfortunate. But you know, whatever. Um, this should be really easy fixes. I'm, I'll get to that probably in a later video. But yeah, look at all these steering wheels down here. Look at that. Mm -mm. I wish that one was mine, but it doesn't have paddles. So who cares? But that M trim looks boss. I might honestly try to get some M trim on that one. Uh, because you know M trim is life. But yeah, unfortunately that one's missing all the screws. So I'll see what I can get together and what I can't. We'll see. We'll at least try to put the steering wheel on there today so we can use it. All right, without further ado, let me get my dad's car out of the garage so we can go ahead and remove all these rims because somebody is coming over in about an hour to check out the rims and hopefully purchase them. I need some college money for some textbook. Yeah, no college is starting up, so this money for the 200 about I'm selling for about 250 for all four. Yeah, it's a good deal, but all the tires are messed up and they're curb rashed rims. I'm giving that guy a good deal. Hopefully he shows up and he doesn't make me look like a fool. But yeah, I need that for at least two of my textbooks. I'm gonna have to purchase, I think, like $500 worth of textbooks this semester. So that's really gay. But anyways, but that's really stupid. But you know, what are you gonna do? That's life. Uh, tuition, anybody got time to worry about that? I'll worry about that when I'm, when I'm, you know, blessed and I have more money than I do have now. So that's why I really, I really think every single one of you guys who purchased the decals to support the channel because you guys are actually helping this build come together. I wouldn't be buying any of this stuff right here if it wasn't for you guys. Some of you guys are doing some generous PayPal donations and some of you guys are buying the decals. I really do appreciate that because that stuff keeps the build going. That stuff keeps the content pushing out and I'm trying to upload this series every two days but I'm not going to be uploading pointless videos. So without further ado, let me get the, my dad's car out of the garage so we can get uh, all these rims off the car, put the stock ones on there and at least those ones have good tread on them and that will pass headline brake pretty easy. All right guys, like I said though, um, Erlan is here, so he can actually help me with the door, the, the window regulator. So I'm actually gonna get the window regulator off. He's actually gonna be working on the steering wheel because the steering wheel didn't have any um, screws on it. So he's gonna try to get some screws on the steering wheel while I'm gonna be taking off the door, take all that stuff apart, and then he's gonna actually put in the window regulator because I don't know how to do that for shit. Guys, look how that bullet just went right through that. I'm hoping that the frame isn't bent for holding the motor. I don't even know. That looks crazy, but I'm hoping that shouldn't affect the whole window going up and down. I'm gonna replace the motor, replace the window regulator, and uh, yeah, because we've got the whole thing right here. So we're gonna replace all that stuff, and hopefully this thing should start working. We'll put in the new steering wheel, but we noticed the bracket that holds the airbag is bent. According to Erlan, that's pretty much, I'm, we're pretty sure it's to do with the airbag deploying in the previous car. So it bends the frame so the airbag doesn't sit right. So we're not gonna put in the airbag yet. Uh, I'm gonna take the frame down to BMW, get the part number on it, and order that part. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just do this window right there so I can actually get all these windows up and park it outside. That'd be good. Alright guys, so this is how it looks. This is how it looks now. It's absolutely messed up. The bolt went straight through it. And you guys can see this is completely disconnect. Oh dear heavens. Yeah, I have to go throw this away before it starts dropping shit everywhere. Right. Dude, that's actually the best bullet that we pulled so far from this car. Damn, guys. Yeah, it went tore right through the door, the regulator. Plus, it just fell and didn't hit this at all. It looks like it just hit the ground. Damn. You guys, look at that. That, lost. that is the best bullet piece I've gotten so far. So, we got a complete piece right here, and that's pretty much shredded in the back. I actually have all the bolts saved up, so I'll try to do what you guys suggested. I'll talk to you guys in a future video about that.
I realized I forgot to record an outro, so uh, peace out guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like the progress. Um, this is literally the same exact outro as you guys are going to see in the next few days. So your, your boy is bad with outros. Remember to stay humble. Peace out. in my soul my weakness comes and goes